The Pope's surprise resignation earlier this week has the whole world buzzing about who will fill his shoes and how the new Pope's views will influence the direction of the Catholic Church. When he entered the papacy, many considered Pope Benedict to be much more conservative than his predecessor, John Paul II, but the retiring Pope's past may surprise you. Post columnist E.J. Dion interviewed Benedict for the New York Times back in 1985 when he was known as Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger and well before he was being considered a candidate for the papacy. Dion sat down with us to reflect on Pope Benedict's legacy. What's fascinating about John, about uh, Cardinal Ratzinger, Pope Benedict, is that he began life as a kind of moderate uh, theological liberal. He was, you know, as a lot of people were during the Second Vatican Council, that great reforming period in church history, um, he had a, a lot more hope for modernity. He talked a lot about the impact of the student revolt in the 1960s. He referred to it as, uh, he used the word terrorism. Um, and I think the student revolt really pushed him in a much more uh, conservative direction. Obviously, Cardinal Ratzinger, because of that set of positions, um, created quite a bit of alarm among more progressive Catholics, both in Latin America and uh, in the United States. And while the Pope has taken some very conservative positions uh, as Pope, he was probably turned out to be less conservative than the conservatives hoped and the liberals feared. When you look at uh, some of his encyclicals, his first encyclical was God is Love, and it, it emphasized much more a loving God than a judgmental God. It was actually there were some beautiful moments uh, in that encyclical. He wrote a very powerful uh, encyclical on social justice. And when President Obama went to visit Benedict, I actually got to write a column saying, you know, President Obama is visiting someone whose views on economic issues are quite a bit to the left of his. He has said much more critical things about capitalism uh, than, pope, uh, than President Obama uh, ever did. Benedict is the first pope in six centuries to step down. His last day is February 28th. This bold move uh, comes at a time when I think a lot of people in the church, and not just relatively or very or liberal Catholics like myself, but a lot of people in the church know uh, that there is a crisis. I think it's very possible that you will have a kind of fragmentation in this conclave that you didn't have uh, in the last conclave. I think that when you look at the last conclave, Cardinal Ratzinger went in as the clear choice of theological conservatives or traditionalists. He started out with a substantial block of votes. I think there is at least a reasonable chance that this will not be a slam dunk. If, if it is a slam dunk, it's probably Scola. If it goes on for a while, um, that's when unpredictable things, uh, the unpredictable things can happen in the conclave.